really trying to do more as a passer this year, take on more yeah. responsibility. What's his level of comfort now in the offense in oh, year two? For sure, man. He's definitely comfortable now. He's playing with a lot more confidence for sure. Like, I'm telling guys this, that like on Saturdays, when a lot of people are sleeping in, recovering from the week's worth of training, you know, Dorian's texting us, let's get some work, let's go out there on the field, let's throw around, let's get our chemistry and our timing up. You know, he's taking that leadership role. I come back from class, he's on the field working on his mobility, throwing the ball at the net. You know, Dorian, he's been, he's shown great maturity, man. Like, it's really cool seeing them, like, especially someone so young, he's only going to be a sophomore now, showing that much growth and maturity because, you know, the Pac-12 has some good quarterbacks, man. They've produced a lot of great quarterbacks these past couple of years, especially in the league. So it's like, wow, he's, I think he can be one of those guys for sure. You scored a touchdown in the last eight games of the season. You have almost 300 yards against USC. What's next? I mean, what's the next step for you that, that makes sense? I think I got to contribute to more winning performances. I feel like you can rush for a lot of yards, but if you're not winning, then I think no one cares. I don't care really either. I think I got to contribute to winning, whether that's catching the ball, whether that's getting more first downs, whether that's actually being better on pass pro. I think there's a lot of intangibles that go into winning and just racking up yards. And, yeah. You were what? talking about great quarterbacks in this league. This league's got a lot of.